I'm Susan, and I'm going to be reading a book called Aggie Gets Lost by Lori Reese. I picked this book because it's about when hard or bad, sad things happen. In a situation like that, it's important to have a lot of people who can help and support you and to feel your feelings. I hope you enjoy Aggie Gets Lost. Chapter one, the bad day. Left foot, right foot, two feet, four feet. We walk to the park. Aggie pulls hard. She wants to play fetch. At the park, I unclip Aggie's leash. I toss the ball. Get it, Aggie. Get the ball, I say. Aggie is a good dog. She brings it back. I drop it behind me. Aggie is a smart dog. She finds the ball again. Good girl, I say. Okay, Aggie. Here is a hard ball, I say. I wind my arm fast and I throw the ball. It flies up, up, and far, far away. I cannot see my red ball. Woof, woof. Aggie runs and runs. Now I cannot see my dog. I wait and wait but she does not come back. I call her, Aggie, come. Aggie, here girl. I look for her. She does not come back. I do not see Aggie anywhere. I walk home slowly. I am sad. She was not at the swings, I tell daddy. She was not at the pond, I tell mommy. How can I find Aggie, I ask. We make a plan. Mommy makes phone calls. Daddy makes pictures. I make my posters big. Then we go back. We go back to the park where I lost Aggie. We tell the kids at the swings about Aggie. We tell the people at the pond. We tell the policeman with a shiny badge. No one has seen Aggie. It is a bad day. Chapter two, the awful night. Aggie is not on my bed. She is not under my bed. I look out the window. Where are you, Aggie? I whisper. I see a wishing star. I wish hard. I wish Aggie was not lost. I feel sadder. I think, what if Aggie is not lost? What if she ran away? What if Aggie was not happy? Did I give her enough treats? Did I pet her enough? Did I tell her she was a good dog? I cannot sleep. I am too sad to sleep. It is an awful night. I climb on my bed. I look at my toes. I do not know how Aggie chews things. I do not like how Aggie chews things. I do not like cleaning up her messes. 
I do not like her smelly breath. But I love my dog. We have fun. We are friends. We play tug of war. We make snow angels. We share a room. I lie on my bed with Aggie's leash. Aggie was not at the swings. She was not at the pond. She is not on my bed. But Aggie is somewhere and I am going to find her. Chapter two. Chapter three. Found. The next morning, I get up early. I brush my teeth. I get dressed. I fill my pockets with treats. Let's go to the park, I say. Mommy goes one way. Daddy goes another. We look for Aggie. She is nowhere. Mr. Thomas sits on a bench. Ah, oh, my, too. Where is that Aggie, he asks. I tell Mr. Thomas about my lost dog. We looked everywhere, I tell him. I cannot find Aggie. I feel sad again. I think she ran away, I say. Maybe I can help, Mr. Thomas says. You cannot help, I say. You cannot see. I can see just fine, Mr. Thomas says. Not with my eyes, but there are other ways to see. He stands up. I use my hands. I use my ears. I use my nose, he says. You've tried using your eyes. Now try to see like me. I close my eyes like Mr. Thomas. I feel a cool breeze. I smell smoky hot dogs. I hear squirrels chattering and kids among and kids laughing. A bee buzzing and something else. It is quiet and far away. I know that sound, Mr. Thomas, I say. I run for the trees. The howl is closer now. I run fast. Ow! Aggie howls and rolls in the grass. Oh, Aggie, I found you, I shout. I run to Aggie. Aggie runs to me. She jumps into my arms. We howl and roll together. Aggie looks happy. She feels scratchy and she smells. Oh, Aggie, I say, you need a bath. Aggie and I are happy. We walk past the pond. I found my dog, I tell the people. We walk past the swings. I found my dog, I tell the kids. I, we find mommy and daddy with Mr. Thomas and the policeman. I found Aggie, I say. Mommy and daddy are so happy, they almost cry. <laughs> Left foot, right foot, two feet, four feet. We walk home. Aggie gets a, a head start. The end. I hope you enjoyed Aggie Gets Lost.